Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another in the continuing series that I have for how I edit my videos in Windows Movie Maker. This one is how I add beginning and ending slides to my videos. Now recently, I've actually started to not do the beginning slide. It just makes it a little bit easier. If I have to move some videos around, I don't have to change that beginning slide. I always put an ending slide though because I always like to thank you guys for watching and subscribing and it's a good way to end the video. But I'm going to show you how to do both in case you want to do a beginning and ending slide. So I already have a video I just played around and recorded on my phone for like three minutes so I could have something to show you. Now of course I already have my images saved since I have done over 200 videos. However, when I first started out what I did was I went to Google and I searched for actually desktop wallpaper. And you can see there's a bunch of them here and I clicked on images. And then I just saw some I liked, like I actually like this rose one right here. Rose, that's not a rose, a daisy. And then I just clicked, went to the website. And I mean, there are a ton. So what I would do with this, like let's just say, we're gonna pick this one, I'm gonna do this one. So I would click on it and then I would right click and just save the image. And I would name it, like I could name it beginning slide because I like to put the same slide at the beginning and the end just to have consistency in my videos. So then let's pick an ending slide. Now you don't have to stick with this website you can go to any website you want that you saw. Ooh, this was a nice one. Maybe I'll change mine. I like this one. This one's pretty. Okay, save image again. Right click, save image. I'm gonna put ending slide. And I have my photos to save to my desktop. So those are saved to my desktop. Now what I do is I go to my desktop and I'm actually going to click on the image. Now here's the images up here, okay, these two. I'm first gonna click on the beginning slide and I'm actually going to resize it to be the 1280 by 720, which is the size that YouTube wants for the thumbnail but I've also found for pictures, it's a good size too for your beginning and ending slides. So this is just photo software that's on my computer. I'm sure you have other software. So I'm just saving the changes to it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the ending slide. Just resizing it. 1280 by 720. Now, I use PicMonkey. PicMonkey is a site I actually have to thank Jennifer of Delicious Threads for showing me because I saw her beginning and ending slides and I was like, oh my God, where? what did you use? And she told me. Now, you do not have to pay to use this. I actually pay because I write it off on my taxes because I've used this for work once or twice when I've done um, emails and stuff. I pay $7.99 a month to use this. It gives you a little bit more features to use, but like I said, I used the free version for a really long time before I paid. So you do not have to pay. So once you sign up, if you click up here to edit, and then I click on computer because it's going to take me to my desktop. I'm going to click on desktop though just to make sure it's there. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to find that image that I did for beginning slide. I'm going to open it. It's going to open it up in here. Now on my beginning slides, I will say something like floss tube number, let's say 50. Um, you know, whatever you're going to name it. 
in the very beginning when I first started doing this, I would actually name it like whip update. Um, now, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm clicking and thinking you guys know what I'm doing. On the left here, you can't see that. There are little options to add text, which is what you want to do. You want to click right here on these two T's and then you can choose the font. You guys know if you've watched all of my videos, I mentioned in one of my videos, the font I like is called Abril Fat Face. I laugh every time. I just like the print. So you click on it and click add text and it's going to bring this box up. This box, you can drag it anywhere you want. Now, since there's that image there of the flower, I would put the text up here, okay? Now, also you have to think, like you have to use common sense when you do this. This background is dark, so I would most likely use white text, okay? So to change the color of the text, you have to go over here and see this little circle to do white, you just drag it all the way up. But if you see all of these colors, you can drag your cursor and it will change the text to red, yellow, green, blue, and all different shades of it. Now, what I also like to do in the effects, and this is where paying the $7.99 gives you this option, I like to do drop shadow, which will, you'll see what it does. It puts a shadow behind the letters. Now, depending on how big I am doing the title, the words on here, you can change the size of your text at any time. I'm going to actually increase it from 45. I'm going to do 72 and see where that gets us. So I'm going to pretend this is a floss tube update. So I'm going to type floss tube number, let's just make up a number, 123. I'm going to hit enter. Like I said, you can do this any way you want. Um, I'm going to put stitching update. February, what's today, the 2nd, 2018. Now, you can see this is like all not lined up. I would drag this box, wait a minute, I would drag this box back down, you know, just click and drag. Now, you see how it put like that black behind the text? Now, I want the 123 up here next to the floss tube. So if you put your cursor to where you can see this arrow, all you do is click and drag it. And then it eventually it's gonna, there you go. Now, I also like to have the update up there, so I'm going to keep dragging it. There we go. I like the look on it, and I want this 2018 up there. There we go. That I like. So, you can leave it like that, or you can actually stretch it even more, but it's going to make it bigger. You can just play around with it. So, I'm actually going to decrease the font size to, let's try 60, let's try the 72. No, I don't like that. Let's try 96. Okay, I actually like that. Okay, so I'm going to click off of that. And then you can see that's what it would look like. That doesn't look bad. I actually like that. But you can play around with it. You can put text all over here, like if I wanted just the floss tube up here, you can do just that. If you want to add different boxes of text instead of having it all in one line like this, all you have to do is then again click on these double text, the double text, the double T, watch, I'll do it so you can see. And then click add text and say it'll bring up another box. If I want to put text down here, like make sure it was down here, I could do that. You have options. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just save this. You would hit export. And then you could hit export to computer, but what I hit is way down here where it says download it. And then it downloads it to my desktop. And then I would do the same exact thing. Just X out of this in the corner. There's an X up here in the corner. Now what I would actually do is I would actually save this photo and you can save it in here. Excuse me. I would hit save up here. And then you can title it whatever you want. I title it beginning slide and I would hit save because if you are going to use the same beginning slide, but you're going to change the text,
the easiest way is to save it in here because when you go to get it again, instead of getting the photo from your computer, you would get it from the hub in here. Like I'll hit open new and I'll show you. Let's just say this photo wasn't here. We were coming here. I have a new video. I want to put the beginning slide. If you click on edit and you choose my hub, it's going to bring up images that you saved. See how I saved this in here? You would just click on it, click edit, and it's going to bring it up again. And to change the text, all you got to do is click on it, click on it again. You can delete it, type whatever you want. Okay. Now the ending slide is a little bit easier, is a little bit different because once you make the ending slide, I've never changed my ending slide as long as I've done YouTube videos because that's something, it's like a goodbye. So let's pull up the image that we saved for the ending slide. Okay. Now I, again, I'm going to do the text as white just because this is a darker on the back here. Remember you go over here, slide this all the way up for white. I'm going to do the drop shadow, but like I said, you do not have to do that. And I'm going to make the text size 64. Remember you can change it. So. I think on my ending slide, I currently have something like, thank you for watching and subscribing. Much stitchy love to you all. Whoops, if I can type. I really like this. Um, I'm gonna have to use this little slide for some of my, uh, maybe my Stitch With Me videos. And like I said, I am just pulling and stretching it and I'm actually going to pull it here on the side if you want to make it wider. See how it can't went bigger? Because I kind of want that kind of big. I actually really like this slide. Um, may have to change it after I just said I've never changed it. I'm actually going to scoot that up so the text is kind of on those lines. Okay, so we're going to pretend that that is what I want to have at the end. Again, I'm going to hit export. I'm going to hit download here in the bottom left. And then I am going to, over here, I'm going to hit this X so I can X out of it. And then I'm going to save it to the hub because just in case something goes awry and it gets lost on my computer. But I also have a folder on my desktop entitled floss tube and I will put images there as well so they're really easy to access when I do videos. Okay, now let's go back to our Windows Movie Maker. Now, to actually add the photo to the beginning and the end, all you have to do is at the very beginning, I always have my, you know, it's at the start of the video, I'm just going to click over here add videos and photos and I hope you can see that and then I go and find that photo which is this one right here now for some reason it puts it at the end of the video but it's very easy to move you just click and drag it drag it to the very top see where I'm dragging it and then you just let go and it drops it there see how it's there now I will usually do a transition between this slide and the beginning of the video and I show you how to add a transition in a different video it's very easy now at the end of the video when I record my video I say the same thing as always blah 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 and then I let the camera run for a good 10 to 15 seconds because I will chop that off at the end I want to know where to end the video so here is where you have to click I'm going to go way to the end. I'm going to right click. I'm going to split it. And then I'm going to chop off that piece. And I show you guys all how to do this in a different video. Okay, so the ending slide. 
Now what's going to be nice is, you know, it already adds it to the end of the video. So when I click once again, add videos and photos over here, it's going to bring up my desktop. I go and I find my ending slide, which is this one. And when I click open, it already added it to the end. Now I will also do a transition from the end for the end slide too. But again, I will show you that in a different video, but yeah, it's very easy to add the beginning and ending slides. All you're doing is adding photos. So this video was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I hope this helped. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.